Welcome to the animated recap. In this video, we have recapped the family, adventure and comedy movie Duck Duck Goose that was released in 2018. In the start of this movie, a goose is shown who was named as Pen. The geese will fly south from this region as winter approaches. Pen consistently stays away from its group because it sees itself as different from the others. It doesn't want to stay in a discipline like other geese though. The group leader is worried because Peng disobeys it. Although not the leader, Peng was a favorite among the other geese. Two siblings of ducklings, Chao and Chi, are pictured. Despite Chao's mischievous nature, Chi, its older sister, always watched over it. The ducks in question were also on the move. Peng was friends with the daughter of the group leader who had the name Jin. With Jin, Peng was having fun. It tips over and falls to the ground. Peng falls over and falls into the stream with the ducks. Its partner Turtle was also there. Jin shows up and tells the father that she is upset. When Jin's dad arrives, he warns everyone that winter is approaching and that we need to leave quickly. It says that if Peng continues to conduct the same offenses, they are immobile. The flock's leader drives Peng outside of the geese. It is welcomed to fly close to the young geese. Peng objects and says I am going by myself. It guarantees to get there ahead of them. Jin asserted that while everybody can fly on their own, a good leader is one who protects their people. She and Chao were separated from their group by Peng. They hid in a pipe because they were being pursued by a huge cat. They were awaiting dust so they could escape this huge wild cat. Peng's companion turtle asks the creature, Why don't you go with your group? Peng asks permission to let his gang leave. I will continue my adventure tomorrow. I will arrive before them. The geese set off on their journey and Jin was angry since Peng worries about it. As night falls, Chi and Chao make an effort to leave the pipe. As the wild cat continues to threaten the group, Peng puts an end to it by tossing it into the creek. It strikes Chi and Chao as astonishing. The ducklings were sound sleeping when Peng began to see. Chao reaches out to embrace Peng because Peng was thought of as its mother. Peng is informed by Chi that Chi considers you to be its mother because his younger brother has never met their mother. Chi asserts that they lost communication with their group as a result. It now needs to help them. Peng rejects to help as it has get back to its gang. When it discovered Chao was hanging on a wing from that point on, it was already in flight. It tries to get rid of it by hitting it with a big plate, but fails. When the plate falls into the stream, the bird's wing is broken. Due to the damage to its wing, Peng was doubtful of its ability to fly. How will it reassemble its squad? It feels the need to walk since potentially dangerous animals may be present along the way. It thinks of bringing Chi and Chao with it. They will be in front if there is any risk. As it approaches Chi and Chao, it says, I am ready to help you. It says that by doing so, they will be forced to meet with their team. The wild cat is holding the turtle that is Peng's friend as it confides in it all of its fears, including the fear that Peng can no longer fly due to damage to one of its wings. She and Chao are also with them. The wild cat is happy to hear that they will be going a long way. It states that I will go goose hunting today. They had been trekking for a while and were worn out. It was raining and thundering. They inquire of a chicken in a hut whether they may stay the night and relax there. The hens resume their pursuit the next day, and by then the cat has caught up to them. In search of them, it wonders where they are. Peng notices a female cyclist. Peng seizes the bicycle and mounts it. A stone in their way caused them to trip and fall into a trolley. In addition to the wild cat, there were a lot of pigs around. The trolley falls and the cat is caught below those pigs. Because they were in a forest, Peng is exhausted. Even though Chi and Chao are able to awaken, they are turned over. It claims that you can fly. Chai and Chao feel as though they are in flight. But after only a short time in the air, they crashed. After they stumbled upon the mound of leaves, Peng shouts them out. Chao had entered a cave, which is why it was gone. They scramble around in the cave, looking for Chao. 
They find a lot of fireflies once they are inside. They are having fun when the wild cat appears. Pen tries to halt that cat as they just about get it out of the cave. They move there and flow into a water shower. She then moves on, finds its friends, and tells Peng that they have. Peng makes an effort to call the flock of geese that was nearby but far away. No one can hear it. It was becoming enraged with Chi and Chao about this. It says I didn't move to join my group and that you caused my speed to slow down. Before moving forward, Peng leaves them there so they can call their group. It hangs with a mountain while jogging. A coming flying item pushes it toward the opposing mountain. It was a squirrel that asserted it had the ability to repair its wings. She and Chao were moving on despite their fear. Peng's wings were being used by the squirrel to secure a stick, and it was entirely dark. It is instructed to use its support to take flight. Peng was thrilled to be able to fly again as she can now. After recalling Chi and Chao, it moves in their direction. Chi and Chao learn about their group and decide to join it as well. When a flock of ducks landed in a city, they were shocked to discover why they had been sent there. In the interim, a man steals them. Peng, who is pursuing Chi and Chao, has also come. The ducks were brought to a hotel where they were prepared and served to the visitors. Peng enters the hotel's kitchen covertly. The man started to say something, but Chi, Chao, and Peng stopped him. It leads them there from there. Due to the city's vast population, they become separated from Peng. Peng notices Chi and Chao holding that kitty. It was going to eat them whole. The sound of firecrackers causes the cat to pass out in terror. The cat is holding Peng while it jumps into a creek. Peng escapes and emerges, but the cat is not going to be so understanding. Peng receives another blow. Chi and Chai tie some firecrackers behind the cat, which they eventually get rid of, in an effort to save Peng. Peng had joined their path of travel. The winter season started with snow falling. A snowfall hampers their progress, causing them to trip and fall. Chi and Chao can observe Peng's intended route. Peng requested that they continue without it since he was worn out. They insist, nonetheless, that they won't go without getting it. They lift it and fly away. They couldn't fly and were falling as a result of lifting too much weight. Chao calls the geese using Peng's voice. Jin may be seen raising it and grabbing Peng there. They were accompanied by Chao and Chi. Jin transports it there as Peng apologizes to it for everything. Furthermore, it compels Jin to meet with Chi and Kaho. They stay with its skin. This movie ends here. Thanks everyone for watching. We hope that you people would have liked this video. Please tell us in the comment section that what new movies we should recap in next videos. In next videos, we will come with the recaps of more exciting animated movies. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon.